there will forever be questions of substance and detail raised by amateur detectives, professional skeptics, and serious students as well. Even Walter Cronkite in 1964 might not have predicted the level of debate that still surrounds JFK's assassination five decades later. Today, forgotten memos, new interview transcripts, and renewed theories ensure that skepticism remains. Before he was president, then-Congressman Gerald Ford served on the Warren Commission. I firmly believe the Warren Commission conclusions were correct. The commission consisted of six pillars of American politics led by Supreme Court Chief Justice Earl Warren. At the time, their dedication was publicly unquestioned by the establishment. No investigation could have been more painstaking than that carried out by this commission. Commission members poured over evidence and heard testimony from 552 witnesses, including a gruesome first-hand account by the former First Lady, one that only relatively recently came to light. In an interview with Warren, Jackie Kennedy described her last moments with her husband, saying he, quote, put his hand to his forehead and fell in my lap as she was, quote, trying to hold his hair on and his skull on. Did you kill the president? The commission's final conclusion was that Lee Harvey Oswald acted alone, but many respected experts looking back at the report find that flawed. My big sort of takeaway is just how much of this story has never been told and how much evidence about the assassination has been destroyed over the years, you know, or covered up. In his new book, A Cruel and Shocking Act, former New York Times reporter Philip Sheenan tries to fill in the original Warren Commission report's gaping omissions. There is this whole missing chapter of the history of the Kennedy assassination, which is what was Lee Harvey Oswald doing in Mexico City seven weeks before the assassination. And there's a lot of reason to believe that Oswald was meeting with people who might well have wanted to see President Kennedy dead. What did you do in Russia? So many questions remain. Is an astonishing uh, memo that J. Edgar Hoover writes to the Warren Commission in, in June 1964, right in the middle of the Warren Commission investigation, in which he reveals that the FBI has learned that several weeks before the assassination, uh, Oswald in Mexico City openly declared that he was going to kill President Kennedy. What happened to that memo is a big uh, debate among the Warren Commission staffers because they never saw it. In the decades since the report was issued, Sheenan and many others have been eager to measure the commission's sizable blind spots. At the time, the Warren Commission was considered beyond reproach, but critics complain nearly all of the members were inexperienced in investigations, and many lacked security clearance. So when, say, the CIA told them something, they sometimes just had to take the agency's word for it. It was a more innocent time. People didn't know that so much would be hidden by these agencies of government. In 1976, post-Watergate, Congress reinvestigated the Kennedy assassination. A select committee concluded that the Warren Commission performed with varying degrees of competency, that the Warren Commission failed to investigate adequately the possibility of a conspiracy to assassinate the president. Scientific acoustical evidence establishes a high probability that two gunmen fired at JFK. The committee concluded, the committee believed, quote, that President John F. Kennedy was probably assassinated as a result of a conspiracy. The 1976 committee study found that the Warren report, quote, arrived at its conclusions in good faith, but that the FBI failed to investigate any conspiracy and the CIA was, quote, deficient in its collection and sharing of information. But decades later, President Ford stuck by the committee's findings. That Lee Harvey Oswald was the assassin and that the commission found no evidence of a conspiracy, foreign or domestic. According to a recent Gallup poll, 61% of Americans believe Lee Harvey Oswald did not act alone in Dallas 50 years ago. So, all you conspiracy theorists, so-called, are in good company.